Well, thanks everybody for coming here. We just wanted to do a, a quick update on the stadium expansion. As you can see, it's going at a rapid, rapid amount of speed and uh, we feel very, very good about it. It's been a great project to, to enact. And I think as, as more we get into it, the bigger it gets. And it's so exciting, not only for all of us, but for all the, the student athletes and the coaches. And as I said this morning in a couple other interviews, I couldn't be more appreciative to Bobby and his staff and the, and the support staff, especially the trainers and equipment people who make this all work, going through all these obstacles every day. But they do it with a big smile on their face because they're really excited to get the final project done. So you'll see it. Uh, Mark has been spearheading this whole project. Uh, I'll stand up here if he needs any help, but I don't, I don't think I can answer any of the questions any better than he can, and he knows this inside and out. And then let me introduce Michael Ortman. Where's Michael? Is he back there? Michael's our stadium manager, if you don't know, and Michael came to us a couple, few years back from the from Soldier Field, so he's got a lot of, a lot of insight in how these projects are going. So I think everybody's very excited about it, and barring anything from Mother Nature, it should be open on time ne for next uh, season's uh, opening home game. So, Mark, go ahead, take over. All right. Uh, one of the things just wanted to talk about, and appreciate you guys coming out, but just to be able to see, I mean, this is going to be a massive structure, and uh, first and foremost, want to thank Messer. Messer has done the construction, and these guys have been on it from day one. Um, currently we are on time and under budget with it. Um, they've got up to 65 individuals per day working on it on the project, even up to sometimes they've even had 125 individuals. So um, they're very committed to this project. And so I'd like to thank Messer and, and, and thank them for all their hard work. Um, what you guys can see here is we've got the five pillars right here, which will be for the, um, for the interior seating of the ball. Um, it's almost nearly complete with all the concrete and all the steel is nearly, um, it's been, has, been, um, has been hung up on there. Some of the things that our fans can expect to see is, is this, but also the nice piece is when you're talking about, you know, the game day experience for fans, are you gonna, is this gonna interrupt tailgating or parking or anything? Um, we're excited to say that this will have um, little to no effect on any of our fans or um, any parking. Obviously this is all done through the, um, through the football complex. Uh, I think one of the unique things with this is, is we've been able to, they've been able to make great headway over here, but they've also started to put the steel out front with the, with the Schnellenberger expansion. Um, again, this is kind of nice to be able to put in perspective on how big of a project this is. I know my dad spoke a little bit about what it means to Coach Petrino and the team, but I'm excited for our fans. I'm excited for the donors who participated and, and who have helped, you know, buy the, buy the seats and buy the tickets to see this. You know, this is just the next step that the football program and the university has taken together. And so, um, one of the things kind of throughout the year that you'll see is it's a lot of, a lot of work on precast. They're going to do a lot of work on precast to help finish out the interior bowl. Um, for the seating aspect, and then also going to start doing a lot more work on the Schnellenberger expansion. And so uh, after July, or excuse me, January 1st, um, at, or after the end of the conclusion of the football season, that's when you'll really see them making a lot more headway on the, uh, on the Schnellenberger complex. So I don't know if you guys have any questions, but figured it would be good just to kind of talk it and have you guys out to see it, because this is a, a special project. And for me, um, I think this is one of the, Papa John's is one of the best stadiums in the country already. I think this is just going to add to it and, and really enhance the football players' experience, being down the crowd, but also the game day experience for our fans. Adding another 10,000 seats, having, as you can see, you're going to be right on top. Our fans are going to be right on top of uh, the crowd, so giving our players, you know, an atmosphere unlike they've, they've ever experienced before. So this is a win-win for everybody, and we're really excited about it. We're on time. I'm not going to say we're ahead of time, but we're, we're on time. We're exactly where, where we expect it to be. You know, we're very fortunate with the mild winter and then a relatively nice summer. So um, our guys are here and, and our Messer team is committed to making sure that this thing, this project opens up and we'll be ready for the 2018 opening. We're right on budget. Yes, sir. Yep. What's that? The total cost of the stadium is 63 million, 63.25. Yes. I don't know what that was. How much was the original? Yeah. He said he'll find out. He doesn't, he doesn't know off the top of his head. No, not yet, not yet. So we'll have the one video wall down there, and then next year, once we get the two towers, which are, they've already laid the, the foundation for, once those are built, we'll have the two on, on both sides. For this year, it'll be on that side, correct. So we've moved. 
Johnny Unitas, we're internally discussing where, where we're going to put him. We think we've got a, we've identified a great spot that uh, I know our fans will appreciate. It's, it's a great problem to have. I think for us right now, when you look at it, you have 65,000 chairback seats, over 75 suites, and nearly 5,500 uh, club seats. I feel that's pretty, that's pretty good. We're the only country, excuse me, the only stadium in the country that has all chairback seats. So 65,000 for us right now is, is a pretty comfortable point. You gotta remember, this is our second expansion in less than a decade. You know, we've had a great response. Um, we've got a we've got a quite a very lengthy um, waiting list to get tickets. So this will help assuage some of those issues and get more people into the stands. So, 63 million, 250,000. The team. Um, his question was, where's the team going to enter and exit from? They're still going to enter um, and come right out of the middle. So we're. We're working on securing that area on game day, so that way the team will still be able to run right through the middle, just as they have in the past. It'll be, yeah, it'll be some right, you can kind of see where the, 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 the wooden door is right there. That's, that's the middle of the area, and that's where they'll run through. Yeah, absolutely. We're, we're trying to preserve as much of the game day experience as what we had last year and this year. So that's, that's a big effort of ours. No, the only temporary one we'll have is the, is the game clock. Will be the, will be the game clock. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Again, I mean, they can come here and they can see it. And you know, most of these incoming freshmen or prospective student athletes have been here on a game day and have felt that great environment. So to know that this is going to only enhance it, make it better. You know, I think a lot of times what gets lost with this is, yes, we're adding 10,000 seats and creating a better game day experience, but we're also adding 70,000 square feet and renovating 30,000 square feet of the facility. So giving them almost 100,000 new square feet of space for their operations. So that's just as, as attractive to them as, as the additional fans. You know, anytime you can, anytime you can turn around and put on a great product for your team and for for fans, it's special. You know, and it's neat just to be in that conversation. You know, I think Coach Petrino will be the first one to tell you: you keep your head down and go to work. And that's what they've done, and they've done a tremendous job with it. So, uh, to answer your question, yes, it's nice to nice to be talked about in the other manner. We um, received an overwhelming response from fans. This is something that uh, has really struck a chord with our fans, and, and, and it should be, because this is uh, one of our treasured pieces of history. And so uh, a lot of fans came up with some great ideas, and, and we've considered a majority of them. And um, I think once, once it's finally identified and seen, uh, our fans will be excited with where the location is. Any other questions?